Good YouTube, it's your boy Dukes, man. Today's video, we're gonna be taking y'all on a day with me, you know what I'm saying? And how I move and how I act, and what I do when I when it's come to my clothing brand, man. For y'all that don't know, I do have a clothing brand, it's called Urban Outlaw Company, or Urban Outlaw Co for short. Um, I have the shirt on right now, it's all I'm rocking as far as the clothing brand goes, one of my shirts. Right now, we going to my manufacturer people, the people I get most, most of my product from, or most of my samples from, most of my blanks from, to make my things. And I'm about to go ahead and start my hoodies for the fall slash winter. And they're like, damn, bro, the fall started like a, like two months ago. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, I ain't really been like in the mood to really make clothes. You know, I don't, I don't know why people feel like as a, you know, as a brand creator, you could just wake up one day and be like, yeah, this shit, this shit in the bag. Like, nah, bro, it gotta come to you, see? I'm not the type of brand creator that's gonna just throw anything out there to you. Your work is everything. And if you ain't, if you ain't doing like a real good job, if you're you not, if you know you went well something, bro, don't put it out there. Like, I, that's just how I feel, like, as a person. Hold on, y'all. Maybe watch it, but. As a person, man, like, I feel like when it comes down to your brand, like, honestly, making sure that, I guess, you know, the stuff you dropping is stuff that you would personally want to wear as well as like stuff that you know will catch the eye of your attended audience you know and that's something that took me three years to realize that you also can't make clothes with just stuff you want people to wear it has to be somewhat stuff that's like eye catch because you can make a shirt that say your name and then nobody gonna want it like okay a prime example of clothes that people buy off of like marketing and clothes people buy off of taste is like marketing to be like like Skechers, you know, they come off as like they Skechers have a lot of commercials at a point in time. I'm not sure if they still do. I don't watch TV for real no more, but they used to have a lot of commercials. I might come in in high school, at middle school, and they'd be like a sketch commercial, stuff like that. Versus somebody like Balenciaga's. You don't see Balenciaga on TV at all, but they, they have the most simplest design, which is this their name, and people buy it up because sometimes your name can hold weight. Because most people realize, don't realize when you shop with a brand, bro, you're buying stuff based off the name, not off of like. I ain't gonna say it ain't always based on material, but a lot of these brands out here, bro, they just drop stuff and y'all just buy it because of the name. It, like, I'm not trying to be funny, but Balenciaga is a prime example of brands that just make anything and people buy it just based off their name. They literally made some beat up, dirty shoes and y'all bought them for $3,000 because they were Balenciaga, which I'm not confused. I'm, I'm confused on that because I'm a sneakerhead myself and I would never buy a pair of dirty shoes on purpose. That, that'll never be a trend to me. I don't care. Who the fuck dropped the shoe? I'm not ever doing it. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen y'all do in my life. And then they also made a garbage bag for a person. Y'all bought that too. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all... Back to my stuff. Like I said, it's just crazy. Like I said, as a brand owner, it's kind of funny when you see the stuff people want to buy. And you be like, I'm not about to make no bullshit like that because this person made it. I'm not about to... You feel me? If that's what's trending... I'm gonna start a new trend is how I look at it because I'm not about to settle for just anything as far as with my name attached to it, you know? So with that being said, what I will say is this. When start, when you wanna start a brand, bro, just please make sure you know if you're gonna do unisex, male, female. If you're a female, preferably I would start with females. If you're a male, clearly start with male clothing because the opposite sex is kind of hard to catch their attention like as a female a lot, i know a couple female designers who they make jeans and shit for dudes but like we are picky just like women are picky when it comes to our clothes but we're not just gonna buy anything especially if that price is real high and we don't think this shit worth it so that's most men i'm telling y'all now y'all can say if you got it all that nah nah nah, nah. even if it, unless he's just a dumbass with his money you're not buying that you don't like that's, that's men and women so Make sure you know who you wanna, cause I, I did, I'm doing unisex, like, I sell to men and women, my clothes are unisex, but I make both sides, I took my time to learn how to be better at this, because this is actually a hard thing to do, I'm trying to design for a whole opposite sex, like women, because women are very, like, y'all style don't stand style too long, bro, and that's something that actually irritates the fuck out of me, it's like, I'll make something, and by the time I get done making it, the style already out of style, like, when the whole stack jogger shit came, I tried to make my own little version of stack joggers, by the time I had that shit in the bag and ready to drop it, it was already out, out the window. Nobody was wearing this shit no more, you know? And that was literally months slash weeks after, like, it started trending. I just wanted to, like, like really make sure my shit was perfect. So maybe I do take a little minute to get my stuff up and running. But, like, that's because I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, bro. It has to be right the first time with me, you know? And, yeah, that's kind of, like, how I am with my brand. So I'm going to start rambling on. But we, I'm going to see y'all when I get to what I'm getting to. And I'm going to show y'all the colorways. I'm thinking about starting for this first two pieces or these first four pieces i'm gonna do two for the women two for the men and we're 
we're gonna just see how this goes, man. Hopefully, you know, this stuff, you know, hits the number I expect it to hit. Hopefully, I get the amount of order numbers I want to get. You know, I'm looking into getting into a marketing team right now. This this brand shit, man. When you doing everything yourself, it's just like being an part of independent artist, as, as an independent rapper or, or like music rapper or, or uh, um, R&B singer. It's just the same thing as that. Like when you're independent, bro, it's very hard to do stuff. Like it takes a long time. You have to do all the research. You have to do all the work. And I'm not complaining not one little bit. I don't need you know to feel like I need to hire seven people right now. I'm not making nowhere near enough money to need seven people to help me. I'm just stating when you want this shit alone, bro. Be prepared to for long nights, restless nights. No paydays. Be, be ready for all that. Be okay with knowing you're not going to make money every day until you can get to the point where you're making money every day. It's not going to instantly happen. So for some of y'all, it might happen. But for a lot of y'all, it's not going to happen. Just remember that. But I'm going to see y'all when I get to my uh, my merchandise. Man, I'm like 20 minutes away, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to some music. Uh, I'm going to see how I get there. All right, y'all, we done made it here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this shit, man. I think the mask come in this bitch, actually. Let's take this off the door. I hope it takes off the door. I ain't got no mask. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. Don't see y'all again. What's good, YouTube? Okay, so currently it is now Friday. Uh, we got our products. I think Wednesday was yeah. It was Wednesday. We got our products. So now today is Friday. Um, Wednesday was kind of rocky. I didn't end up picking the stuff up. It's right in his bag. I just ended up getting a decent amount of stuff, man. Um, so with that being said, today has been a very productive day. And it's already twelve. It's only twelve o'clock right now. So. Today I have finally locked in with who I want to do my marketing for me and we are now going forward with the marketing today. So as of right now, I'm on my way to the bank to deposit some money into my account so that I can pay for my first month of my membership with these guys or, you know, pay them for the first month of being my marketing st staff. Um, and he actually was, you know, just explaining to me how the situation was going to go and how much I would need a month and how much they would hope to see me making a month. And it's all about, you know, how fast I can get the shit out and all that. So, me personally, I know personally I can get stuff like shit quick. So, I don't think that'll be the problem. But today what we're going to do them is we're going to see two people uh, regarding, uh, I guess, merch in a way. Uh, we're going to see my manufacturers who are going to make my mask and my skull caps. And we're going to go see my manufacturer who's going to make my hoodies, my varsity jacket, and my new shirts I'm trying to come out with. So we're gonna do all that <sighs> today. I'm gonna walk out through a day of life. I'm sorry, I'm trying to sleep, y'all. I stay up till like six in the morning yesterday looking for this marketing team. Oh my god! But yeah, uh, like I said, long nights, sleep, sleepless days. What I'm in for for the rest of the year. Uh, I just went ahead and turned the gear up to a thousand, man, because I feel like honestly, Wednesday was like a very interesting day for me. I got my product. My merchandise was out. Oh my, uh, yeah, my merchandise was out of, out the country, so I couldn't even take y'all there to see them. I couldn't record when I went to the uh, supplier's store because I couldn't record. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, like I said, is go to the bank, deposit this money, um, pay for my first, you know, staff, um, pay them for the first time, and go ahead and lock in with them to see what we're gonna do. As far as you know, getting this whole. Stuff uh, marketing thing started so I can see like the numbers I can see to start seeing the money I want to see because like I said I have the product I just feel like it always been my marketing it's been kind of tough for me personally so that's something you guys want to think about I guess later on because I've been doing this for three years by myself and I've seen like big jumps of like you know sales here and there but like it's not consistent I need consistency so uh, that's what I'm hoping these guys could do once I lock in with them monthly month basis uh, hopefully I can make at least double what I'm paying them for my first month if i could see like at least five thousand my first month i would be happy with that but those are the numbers i'm expecting no lay nothing under that because even though all i are doing is you know making ads there should be no problem for people to come to my you know site and shop and do what they need to do so if i'm not seeing progress by the end of december i will no longer be working with these guys and sometimes that's a tough business decision to make because i'll be in a whole thousand dollars but that's that's fine as long as i if I see the number I'm looking for, like I said, my estimated amount I want to make by the end of December will be. Well, I'm not sure if they're gonna do it like by the whatever date they started. But if, like I said, I don't. My goal personally, set goals for stuff like this. My goal personally is five thousand dollars back my first month from ads from these guys. If I can see that, cool. I have definitely five thousand dollars for product in my um, setup room. 
I know I can make that. I know my stuff is good. I know I have nice products. It's just about getting the customers there to get the stuff. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, we're going to just go ahead and start moving around now. And I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm a little drowsy. I just, I just woke up, man. Like, I, I woke up, like, maybe 40 minutes ago. Was in that car for about 20 minutes. So, I'm only, like, 20. Like, I was barely woke for that conversation with them. So, it's like, bear with me for a second, y'all. Let me go ahead and get myself together. I'm going to see y'all in a second. The products right here. First we have our skull cap. We got black and gray, I believe. I believe the only two colors I grab just due to the fact simplicity is always important to me. Then we got this uh, sample. We got this sample uh, varsity jacket right here. And uh, I believe I got it in the small. And now I got it for 55 it was on sale. Yeah. And then I got um like like a like a it's like a more like a dicky suit jacket, like a utility jacket. I cop this for about fifty. So uh I got these a dozen for twenty. So that's forty of these. These are the hoodies I'm gonna be coming out with. The first colorway. It's gonna be this nice solid brown. Um it's like the perfect color for what I feel like. It's just the perfect time for this color at the moment because it's Thanksgiving around the corner. There's another one. That brown. One second. And then we were going to go with the nude. They don't have the sizes I want at the time. There's no point in buying them if they're not going to have the sickness. So this is the color we went with. For the secondary color, we're going to go with the green. Like the... Like the um, the flash is kind of high in the color, but it's like that, um, I guess candy apple green. There's one, like, I got light olive. And then he grabbed some, uh, this is something that's kind of starting to trend to me, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those ninja masks, you know. Um, I actually had ended up copying one myself, so the trend definitely got to me, too. And it came with, like, some cool colors. You know, I thought that was actually pink, but it was red, which I don't know, I thought that was pink. I didn't even notice that, but yeah. Came with this red one and this green, you know, camo. Oh, it is. You know, I got pink in the back and green. So I actually bought it. Oh, it has different colors in there. There's a blue one. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I got the black ones. And these came, I think, 12 for like 10 or something like that. So, yeah. Overall, those are my newest products I'm working with. I'm still coming with the ideas. Um, And with that being said, I will be very busy today and you guys will be coming along with me like i said inventory wise i have i have that at the moment i need to i need to actually go on amazon because i'm finna actually update my site today once i meet up with my um my marketing team we're gonna go ahead and go over this stuff i want to see what what do i have a large number of and what do i need to get out of my hand as of right now as far as the sale go as far as the pricing as far as the timing of the shipping all that stuff is going to start mattering now that I have this marketing. It's been mattered, but it's going to matter 10 times more. I have a lot of free time on my hands where it won't be a problem for me to do the shipping. Um, but let's go ahead and just get this whole marketing thing started. I'm going to see how I get to the bank or my manufacturer. I don't know which one I'm going to go to next first, but I'll see you when I get there. <laughs> hey, what's up? So today is currently Monday. I think I made the first part of the video like Wednesday, bro. I be busy, bro. I ain't going to lie. Like, I be forgetting to record. I really didn't have time to sit down and do this, but now I'm organizing my inventory for tomorrow because I know that they're supposed to be um, updating. My marketing is supposed to be updating my website for me and like starting the ads and stuff. So I'm going to show you what I ended up. I think I already showed you what I got. So I'm not going to show it again, but I'm going to show you all my old inventory and the stuff I'm trying to get off for Black Friday. First thing I have are my jeans. And these come in a variety of sizes. Um, these are my only color way I have at the moment, which is just like dark faded blue. Um, with our logo right there, nice and bagged up. And I have our shorts from the summer right here. Um, let me see if I can find a pair. These are the ones that the bags came off. Well, I actually had to take these out of the bag for uh, size purposes. I was trying to check out the sizes. This is extra large, but this is how it looks. It has the, the, you know, the puff print um, on it. And then our logo and the year we were established on it. You know, the slides got that same same logo that's on the shorts is on the slides. And these go from uh I believe a six uh youth to a twelve and men. So yeah, the way I would buy my slides if you were 
per, you know, possibly, you know, interested in these slides, I would say whatever slides you are in, like, Nike slides, Gucci slides, get those. Like, yeah, so if you were eight in your regular slides, get an eight. If you were seven, get a seven. But don't do the halves, and I'm an eight and a half. Just do the, the most solid size. You have the two piece sets for the women. Um, these are just some of them. I actually organized these right now. I'm going to put them back in the bag. I might um, end up like doing like a giveaway for some of these, actually, but I'm not sure yet. And then these are the skirt sets that I had for the women. Uh, if you're interested in that, I mean, look. And then, yeah, so this is the inventory. So I'm basically going to end this video right here because in the video right here because I have a lot to do tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this and knock this out and get this up, uploaded for you guys so you guys can see, like, the process I go through and the small stuff I have to do to make the business run. Then tomorrow I'm going to show you, like, behind the scenes of, like, my um, software I use when it comes to my business, like the, the website I go through when it comes to shopping, um, how I set my Shopify account up, like uh, how did I find a marketing team, what do I do as far as like getting in touch with brand ambassadors and big names like that, if I do that, and you know, just stuff like that. And we're going to go on that tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. We out.